Good morning guys. So today's gonna be day two of wrenching on the Miata. I'm actually on my way to the store right now to buy some fittings for that thing because obviously Lowe's didn't have them yesterday and everything else was closed. So I'm gonna go try Ace Hardware while Dom stays back at the house. Hopefully we make some serious progress today. I'm not really sure how it's gonna go because obviously with cars there's always problems. That's it. That one? Yep. That's it. They gave us they gave us standard Allen's yesterday at Lowe's. Whatever. <laughs> Not even surprised. But yeah. Okay. It feels like it should work, but like while threading in, it's like super loose. Yes. Oh yeah. What did I do with my other fitting? Oh, it's. I think it might be in my pocket. Yep. Got it right here. Got it. Okay. Appreciate it. All right. Have a great day. Okay. Got everything we needed. These chips are just a pain. Yep. I guess it's worth it though. Nobody can steal your identity. Or okay. Yeah. Have a good one. Even though you already got screwed over. Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> Literally, I spoke way too late. Yeah. It's not open. Hello? Hello? <laughs> you owe me $47.20. Alright, cool. Alright, later. Okay, guys, so. We got all the fill all the fillings. Yeah, we got all the fittings we need. We're heading back to the house now. Thankfully, I think the drain line sorted out, the feed line sorted out. Everything's pretty much like sorted out. We just have to put stuff on now and just put it together, make it happen. So, if we spend all night in the garage tonight, I feel like there's a possibility the car might run. I don't know though. No promises. <laughs> Hello. No. I've arrived with parts. Awesome to meet you. We've been waiting. Are you like doing intercooler stuff? Yep. Fuck yeah. With nothing else we could do? Yeah. We had, like all the lines and stuff. No way, dude. That's dope. It should be sweet. Okay, so we've made some serious progress here in the garage and we haven't even been working for too long. So we ditched the original plan of uh, making the feed line come off of that little hole in the block like most people show. We did it from the, the oil pressure gauge like sender unit and then we like teed it off of that. So the, the feed line's sorted out. The feed line's right here. It's connected like we're good. We got to tap the oil pan, but I got the tap for the drain line. They're getting some intercooler piping mocked up. It's really just putting shit together from here on out since we have everything we need. So this should be a good time. What do you think, Dom? Oh, I'm pumped. I'm ready. All right, guys. So I'm back with a little update. We got the feed line mocked up, we got the turbo and the manifold on, not on, but like mocked up obviously. We got the drain line on here, see how long it needs to be because the tap's going to go right down here into the side of these, this oil pan. So this line is going to have to be cut like, like pretty much right here. So it's like a straight drain shot to the oil pan. We're going to get that done and constant forward progress is the goal I guess. Dog Forward or forward progress? <laughs> forward. <laughs> forward progress. That's pretty JDM. She looks good on that. <laughs> well, that's right here too, more JDM. And uh, <laughs> more. You <laughs> missed every single cup. All right guys, so we got the hole in the oil pan, but we ran into an issue. It's not big enough for the tap. So, I'm gonna go to the store and get a drill bit. We got the largest drill bit that Ace had, so. I'm gonna go to the store and try to find a bigger drill bit so we can get this hole rounded out a little more. And then we're going to get this tap in there, get it tapped and fit that fitting up and then just get everything bolted up, plumb the intercooler piping, and then hopefully this thing runs. All right guys, so as you can see, we got this tapped. I'm super stoked, it went pretty well. We got these pipe fittings from Ace. It's like a male to male, and then there's this little adapter right here on the end, and that just screws right on to our drain line. And then we got the adapter up there in the bottom of the turbo. So once we get this line on, we gotta tighten down the, man the bottom manifold bolts, and then plumb the intercooler piping, get like the intake and the MAF on, and then change the oil. And then after all the above, we should be able to fire it up for the first time, which I'm super stoked about, so. Hello. Hi. You cut that line? No, I just cut off the end that Blake did. Oh, really? It didn't look that well. What do you mean? I don't know, it just looked haggard. Yeah. Like... Yeah, no, I feel it. We're getting the fittings, like, redone on both ends. Getting this drain line shortened up. We got the drain line finished up. Both fittings on both sides. We got it nice and short, so it just fits perfect. Hell yeah, thanks, Nick. Thank you. Hey, no problem. I'm just gonna pick this shit up real quick. Keep that. In case it's not the right size, make another one. Yeah. Sweet. 
Hell yeah, thanks, dude. Fuck, I'm I'll be over there in a second. So this feed line fitting actually stripped on us, so we thread sealed the shit out of it. We have no charge piping hooked up whatsoever. We're getting the MAF hooked up to the intake manifold, just so we can start it and hear what this beast sounds like. Hmm, definitely not sealed well. Nope. Okay, so we put this stock little intake tube back on, because it wouldn't run for too long, so... We got this little bit of a charge pipe mocked up, no clamps, no nothing, raging boost leak. Uh, no we got this map no like set up how this is. Hopefully the car just runs now though, like hopefully it stays on, that's what we're trying to get to here. The feed line's just pissing oil, it's, it's great stuff here. All right, guys, so we definitely made progress today. We got the feed line and the drain line done. That's about it for today. We have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. We got to get the feed fitting, so a new one, so it's not stripped, and button up all the intercooler piping, get the MAF sensor, like, where it should be, get, like, the proper intake, get, like, a hood stack done. So that's going to be it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one. Peace. All right, so here's everything. Everything the kit came with. The kit did not come with an intercooler. We bought this kit, the intercooler kit.